So when did the plan change from trying to settle to punching Tanner in the face? He didn't seem to want to do the one, so I did the other. That's funny. But he got under your skin, and that can't happen when we go to trial. It won't. Not if you're prepared. Are you suggesting a trial run? I don't want a trial at all, but... We already know your position is to cut me loose, but she's managing partner, not you. No. I'm just one of many partners who don't know what to think. And if they don't know that you didn't do it, how is a jury going to feel? You're betting everything on this trial. Better make damn sure you can win. He's an asshole. He's right. All right, what? If we're going to do this, I don't want to waste a chance to tune you up. But that means we need a damn good tanner. Are you saying I'm rusty? When was the last time you were in the ring? We don't need a good tanner. We need a nasty tanner. Someone will do anything to beat me. Someone who makes you want to punch him in the face. <laughs> <laughs> you want me to do what? I just told you four times. I want you to play Tanner. No, no, no. I'm, I was a little distracted because I was reading. Can you just repeat it one more time? Look, Lewis, you've had your fun. When I said the ground rules were to knock me off my game, I was talking about the trial. I know what you're talking about. You didn't come to me because I'm an idiot. No, not because you're one, in spite of you being one. I'm the man for the job, and you know it. Actually, I had you at number five on my list. And what did Jessica have me at? Six. OK, I get it. I get it. You're trying to make me mad. No, I'm trying to make you good. You see, the one thing you have in common with Tanner is your hatred of me. That is true. But what you don't have are his skills. But that's OK. I'll go to somebody else. Wait, Harvey, stop. You don't think I can win? I know you can't. This isn't some bank loan, Junior. Get out. I got a trial to prepare for. And you know what? When you lose, do not come crying to me because there's nothing on this earth that would be sacred enough to stop me from shoving your ass in the goddamn ground. Good, because those are the real ground rules. Oh, I see, now you're asking to get lit up. Somebody wants to get lit up. So, how was it? How was what? Punching Tanner. It was awesome, wasn't it? No, it was awesome. What are you, in middle school? I'm in the middle of a trial. A mock trial? Mock trials are for children. The adults are doing an in-house trial run. <laughs> OK, mock trial, trial run, potato, potato, not potato. What do you need me to do? What he needs you to do is help me. What's this? You've been drafted. OK, what round? Excuse me? Sports metaphor? Oh, it's not tennis. Sports. You've been assigned by the judge to help me in Pretty Boy's trial. Oh, look at that. He thinks I'm pretty. Wait, what judge? His honor, Daniel Hartman. I'll see in court, sweet tits. No, no, he can't. He can. I'm not. You are. Harvey. Listen, Lewis is devious, confident, and intelligent. You forgot. Ugly, lazy, and disrespectful. Look, now is not the time to quote The Breakfast Club. Oh, you mess with the bull, you get the horn. Stop it. This trial is no joke. Jessica is going against Muhammad Ali. She better be able to beat Joe Frazier. Lewis is no Joe Frazier. OK, I get it. You want me to help Lewis think outside the box. Exactly. Now, how would you come after me? Well, first of all, Don't I... tell me, tell Lewis, because you and I are not discussing this trial during this trial. Oh, and you were right. I know. About what? Tanner. It was awesome. Please state your name. Harvey Specter. Your full name? Harvey Reginald Specter. Do you consider yourself a liar, Mr. Spector? Of course not. Didn't you recently confess that as an associate, you hid an important file belonging to a, ooh, what was his name? Oh, yeah, a Lewis Litt. That was a prank. It was a one-time thing. So you didn't do anything wrong? I don't think so. And when asked, did you claim that you knew nothing about it? Yes. Did you ever do anything to remedy the situation? No. Why not? What was done was done. What was done was done. And like you said, it was a one-time thing, right? Yes. Ah. Was it? Because I think maybe this is a pattern. Information was hidden. You claim you knew nothing about it. You did nothing to rectify the situation. And years later, you maintain you've done nothing wrong. Your Honor, he's testifying. Sounds exactly the same as why we're here today. Except there's one big difference. Your Honor. This time, a man was killed. No further questions, Your Honor. What's done is done, right? <laughs>